as a great come from behind victory. Jordan Miller was sensational from start to finish. Uh, and, you know, we showed some resiliency like we have all season long. Uh, we're now fighting uh, for a, a three seed in the ACC tournament. So uh, I, the marathon is now over. Now the sprints begin. Every game is one and done. So you move, you win, you move on, you survive, you advance. All right, folks, if you have questions for Coach Al, please use the hand raise function. When you ask your question, I ask him to please speak up. We will start with Chris Stockton inside the U. Chris, go ahead for Coach L. Yeah, Coach, off offensively in the second half, you guys really got it going. What was kind of working? And then obviously, if you could just speak on the final minute, the 10-0 run, to, to be able to come back there and, and to win the game. Well, uh, a number of things were going on. First of all, I thought Syracuse played a terrific first half. They made some shots, made some great defensive plays. We were a, a little bit, I'll say, passive, uh, but more maybe a little uh, indecisive. Uh, we talked about it at halftime. It wasn't so much our offense clicked so well, but we just started playing much better defense, pressuring the ball, uh, getting the game at a much faster pace, which I thought favored us. And then our guys were running and shooting and not, not having to think too much. They just played on their, their basic offensive instincts. And um, several things happened. Guys started making shots. You know, getting Cam Augusti to the foul line area for several jump shots down the stretch. Jordan Miller being around the basket and just finishing so many plays including the game-winning offensive rebound off the missed free throw, and then the bucket, you know, banking it in was an unbelievable play. What a Luke Cheney from the Miami Hurricane. Luke. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Can you talk a little bit about your decision to have Bensley, Bensley Joseph guard Buddy, uh, Buddy Beheim at one point in the second half and what that speaks to the freshman guard's defensive growth? Well, from a defensive standpoint, what we were looking to do is put a lot of pressure on their guards. And Charlie Moore was starting on Gerard, Cam McGusty on Buddy Beheim. But when one of those guys come out, uh, Bensley's strong enough, quick enough, defensive minded enough that he could either take Gerard or Buddy Beheim. And so depending on who he was in with, uh, would, would, uh, we based that matchup on, he did a good job on, whoever he was defending. Michelle Kaufman from Miami Herald. Congratulations. Uh, Two-part question. Can you speak in a little more detail about Jordan Miller and what he did today? I mean, he really just, all the rebounds, everything he got to create the offense. And then how important is it, even though you already had a number four seed and double bye, but how important is it for you guys to go into the ACC tournament, you know, with these back-to-back -back wins? Uh, well, the first question is, do the students have to wear those lighted blue hats at the game or, or <laughs> that's just a gift that you can take home with you? Uh, she bought that. She's very proud of it. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, will she wear it at the game? Yes. She'll, She'll be able to be seen game. on TV. Okay. She's going to wear that I'll on be, TV. I, I don't get to see the game. I'll be in the air. But when I get home, I'll have it recorded and I'll have a chance to look in the stands and see her smiley face. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Miller is the best offensive rebounder on our team. And it's uh, a skill that I don't know how he's developed it, but not only can he get the offensive rebound, he can tip offensive rebounds in. He's got a great assortment of layups and touch shots. And for him to be able to get that one at the end was really spectacular. And then he made those two free throws as well when he got fouled. So, he had an awesome game from start to finish, and uh, we're just very, very happy for him and happy that we were able to come away with another road victory. And how important was it going into the ACC tournament to, to end on a, hot, on a positive you note? You know, I think the way I look at it is, you know, the regular season is a marathon. And even though we didn't win the marathon, we were right there, you know, challenging. Oh, challenging Carolina for that third spot, challenging Notre Dame. Oh, Duke has kind of solidified themselves uh, as the best team in the marathon. Uh, but 
a new season begins. So we'll see who we who we play on Thursday. And now we got some chance, uh, an opportunity to rest, recover, and prepare ourselves to be the best we can be on Thursday. We got time for two more with Brian Cantor and then Chris Stock. Hey, Coach, congratulations on the win. Can you just talk a little bit more about, I mean, this team does not give up. They're so resilient, and time and time again, they just keep fighting back and never give up. And another example today in the way and the fashion they won, can you just speak a little bit on how impressive this team is in terms of their resiliency and sticking together? Well, I've seen it all season long. I saw it in the preseason. The, the guys are really uh, connected. And when your team has good chemistry and they bond on the court, off the court, last night at our team meeting, we talked about leadership and how, how many leaders we have on the team and basically decided everyone's a leader. Every guy is fulfilling his role, whether it be a Charlie Moore quarterbacking the team or Isaiah Wong being an outstanding scorer and such a consistent performer and Cam Augusti being one of the very, very best two-way players in the league. He's one of the top five scorers, uh, one of the top five guard rebounders. Uh, he's really good at everything and most importantly, a great teammate. And then you look at the other guys, got guys like Jordan Miller, who has come in after a very successful career at George Mason, coming in and just trying to fit in and, and earn his role. And he keeps earning more and more playing time. At one point during the game, I thought we should take him out and rest him. And so I, I asked him in a timeout, I said, do you need rest? And he said, no, I'm feeling good. So I just left him in. Just keep playing that. You're doing great. And uh, that goes for everybody on the team. Sam Wardenberg uh, talked about in our meeting how much time he spent last year preparing for this season by coming in and watching videotape, not only of our team, but of our opponents with my former assistant, Adam Fisher, and how much that helped him and told his teammates and said, look, I would not have had the year I'm, I'm having if I had not done all the mental preparation. And now we need more guys to do that. We've got great leadership on this team. Last question for Coach Al comes from Chris. Coach, you guys improved a 12 and four away from Coral Gables. How important is that moving forward? You know, ACC tournament, you know, NCAA tournament. How, how important is that? How much confidence can your guys gain from winning away from home? Well, I will say this. If you look at every league, especially the power five and uh, count the number of teams in the power five that have 10 true road wins to their credit. I think you'll find very few. Today, I counted, there was five with nine wins. So we now are in a very special category of 10 true road victories. I think that speaks volumes about the consistent effort, both at home and on the road. At, when we played Syracuse at home, we were down 18 at one point, came back and won. Tonight, I don't know. I know we were down 18. Did it ever get to 20? Or 19. 18 was not good. What was the most? 18. So we were down 18 and we're still able to fight back and win. That talks about the, the character and determination of our team.